What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you what to do if your iPhone 7 will not boot up properly. So since the iPhone 7 no longer has a mechanical home button and the whole functionality of the home button is software based, the way we force reboot, enter recovery mode, and enter DFU mode are a bit different than ever before. So in this video I'm going to show you how to force reboot, how to enter recovery mode, and also how to enter DFU mode. So first things first, the force reboot. This is one of the most fundamental troubleshooting methods that you need to know if you have an iPhone. So if your iPhone is frozen or just acting weird, or if you just can't boot it up, here's how we can easily force reboot our device and get it working again. So what you're gonna do is hold the power and the volume down buttons together until the screen turns black. So on previous versions of the iPhone, the iPad and the iPod Touch, you would actually hold the power and the home buttons together but obviously since the iPhone 7 has a non-mechanical home button, we have to use the volume down button. So once your screen turns black and you wait a couple of seconds, go ahead and power it back up just like normal by pressing the power button and you should be good to go. Now, if that doesn't work or if you aren't able to restore your device normally through iTunes, you're gonna need to enter either recovery or DFU mode. And some of the most common reasons to enter recovery mode are for one, if your device isn't booting up or if you just get stuck in the middle of restoring and two, if iTunes doesn't recognize your device. So recovery mode will allow us to update to a a clean install of the latest iOS version. So obviously you will need to have already made a backup prior to performing this process if you don't want to lose any of your photos, contacts, or just any of your data. To enter recovery mode, there's actually two ways of doing this. So the first way is to turn off your device like normal, just slide to power down. Then you're going to want to hold the volume down button and plug your device into your computer at the same time. So after you do this, you're going to want not want to let go of the volume down button until you see the iTunes logo. So once you see the iTunes logo, you can go ahead and let go. And then you will see a pop up on iTunes that will allow you to either update or restore your device. So you can also get into recovery mode by plugging your device into your computer and opening up iTunes and then hold the home and volume down button together for a while. So this actually takes longer than the first method, but it does also work to get you into recovery mode. So you're going to keep holding it down until after you see the Apple logo and then you will eventually see the iTunes logo. Once you see the iTunes logo, you will see a pop-up in iTunes on your computer, and you will be able to update or restore your device. Now, if you accidentally go into recovery mode or somebody plays a prank on you or something like that, you can very easily get out by doing the very first thing I showed you, force rebooting. So all you have to do is hold the power and the volume down button, and you will be out of recovery mode. Now, if you're still having trouble or you're just looking to restore your device from any state, you're gonna wanna enter what's called DFU mode. And this will basically put your device into a state where it can still communicate with iTunes, but the bootloader hasn't activated yet, which is why this differentiates from recovery mode. This was a very popular method back in the old days when you could downgrade and jailbreak through DFU mode, but now it's not near as useful, but still it's an option and you may find it to be a solution to your problem. So what you'll wanna do to enter DFU mode is for one, make sure your device is connected to your computer then you're going to want to hold the power and the volume down buttons together for about 10 seconds until after the screen turns black. And then you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding the volume down button for about five seconds. After this, you should see a black screen and iTunes will pop up saying that it's in recovery mode, but it won't actually be in recovery mode. You're actually in DFU mode and you can tell this from your screen being black. Now, if you see the iTunes logo or the Apple logo on your iPhone screen, you held the buttons too long and you're just gonna need to restart the process. Now, iTunes will recognize your device and allow it to be restored. And you can also hold shift or option click on the restore button to load a previous iOS version, as long as it's still being signed by Apple. And once again, just like recovery mode, to get out of DFU mode, all you're gonna wanna do is hold the power and the volume down buttons together until the Apple logo shows up. So there you have it, guys. That is how you fix your iPhone 7's black screen when it won't boot up or when iOS just runs into some hiccups. So make sure to hit that like button if this helped you out or if you can see this tutorial being useful for you later on down the road when your device messes up. Also make sure to subscribe for plenty of other iPhone tutorials, jailbreak guides, news, and much more. So thanks again for watching guys and I will see you soon.